then if uh, I love you all this is for my colleagues okay I love you all if uh, I didn't came to you and to say bye just thought that you are so attached to my heart you people are next to my heart that's why I'm not uh, I was not able to come to you to say bye because um, it will hurt me it's a crushy feelings you know that's why I didn't come and say bye mm -hmm. Good evening my friends, how are you all? Hope you all are fine. Here I am also the same. I think, you know, uh, today is one of my emotional day in my life. So I thought I have to just take a video of that day. You know why this day is so special for me? Actually now you know the time in Kuwait it is only 10.30 p.m. I'm going for the night shift. As a usual Indian nurse for them, night duty is so familiar in their life. But for me, today it is so special because, you know, in my institution, this is my last working day. That's the reason it's so special for me. You know, since I was working in a very well reputed hospital in Kuwait since 20 years, 20 plus 3 months. And uh, maybe I will be a little bit emotional during these videos. Kindly ignore it. Because you know, I am so attached to my institution. And I was so loyal to my institution also. So, uh, since it's the last video, I'm just vlogging it, okay? Just now I am just getting out of my home and I'm going to duty. Maybe if I get time, I will take some shots in the hospital also and I will show you and I will tell my story to all of you and stay tuned, stay with me. As a usual day, same like that, my husband is the one who is dropping me to the hospital. Every day he is the one who is dropping me. Yeah, he's here with me <laughs> for my last duty. Let's move on. Now I am in our car, you know. Actually, it is very near to my hospital now. Uh, from my home, actually, there is a five minutes ride to the hospital only. So it's so convenient for me to come to the hospital every day because it's so near. And you know, it's it's a habit to come to the duty, you know, because it's it, as I told, it's twenty years. That's why it's habit it become a habit. Anyhow, I'm just reaching the hospital. You can see the background in the background this is Kuwait and this place is called Salmia <laughs> okay let's move to the hospital I just reached the hospital this is the entrance of my hospital I'm just going inside maybe I will not be vlogging inside the hospital because you know due to security reason and it is not nice and this is my institution under today so I don't want to reveal everything so this is the outside of my hospital I'm just entering to the duty it's actually sharp 11 now. See, I'm just entering into the hospital, you know. I'm just punching in. This is the this is our punch machine and last punch into the hospital. <laughs> I feel really bad, but what to do? I have to. I just today as I'm working as I told I'm working as a supervisor today here. So I took the census paper from the reception already. I'm just going to my office. It's in the third floor, okay? Due to COVID, you know, I have to wear the mask. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be very problematic and hectic. It will be. It's not good for me. So, we have to take our own precaution, you know. This is the third floor. I'm just entering and I'm going to my office. I really, I will miss this institution. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See the way. This is the way. You can see this is my office where I'm going to sit. This is my office. Now I am doing actually the night rounds, you know. Now I reach fifth floor. Fifth floor is the floor where I came first here in Warsaw, you know, when I was 22.5 years. 
I came to Kuwait that time first day I entered into this floor I was working in this floor I can show you oversee the floor actually there was all the patients are there but they are all inside the room uh, maybe you people look think that the hospital is so quiet no it's full actually but uh, all are sleeping it is very late night I'm taking this video huh? this is the floor which I work first just I'm going through my memories Hi friends, I started the video off on my night duty, but unfortunately after that I came to know uh, I have to continue on 31st also. Today is 31st. Now it is going around 2 p.m. My going the duty is going to finish at 4 o'clock. So I thought <clears throat> I will finish the end part of my video here. Uh, I want to say a lot of things, but you know the emotions. Are <laughs> Not allowing me to say so. I'm really so crushed from my from my mind. Even though I don't know why. Maybe the attachment, as I said, you know, I'm so attached to this institution. When I was uh, 23 years old, I joined to this institution as a junior nurse. After marriage, I came soon to this hospital. I came to Kuwait soon uh, because of my family. Then, you know, on the fourth or fifth day, I believe they called me for the interview and uh, then after the interview, I got selected and in uh, 20 days, I was able to join in this institution as a very junior nurse. Same like a baby born in the house, you know. I don't know anything that time, you know. Then I start my career slowly, gradually. As I show you in the previous, in the beginning, where I started my work, that is in the fifth floor in the pediatric department. And then later I transferred to ob department and last three years I am working in OPD, op outpatient department of this hospital. Uh, anyhow, my journey was so awesome throughout the last 22, 20 plus 3 days, 3 months uh, and you know even though there was tough times, many times I felt many tough times are there uh, you know but still I love my job, I love my institution. For me the institution is if someone will ask me, I was so proud to say that I am working in this hospital. Um, <clears throat> I was so attached to the hospital, as I said. You know. Actually, don't want to go, but I hurt. <laughs> that is the feel of mine, you know. Uh, when I was, uh, you know, when I was studying in third standard, my grandma was admitted in the hospital. Where I met a nurse there, when I went to visit her, where I met a nurse. I felt like that, you know, they were wearing our traditional dress, sari, white sari, and she was taking care of my granny very nicely, very, you know, in a well manner way. So I thought she's an angel. She was an angel, I thought. So um, from that time, I, I asked my mom, who is she? Who was she and all? Then she said she's a nurse. She was, she's a nurse, and uh, she has to do these all things, you know, that type of. Then I thought, I oh, one day I will be also a nurse. From that day, it was my dream to be a nurse. After my talk, I went to Delhi. I studied there. From there, I became a nurse. Then I got married. I came to Kuwait. And this was my journey only. And today, uh, since I have to go, Actually, um, I got a very good offer from outside. I'm tomorrow. I'm going to join in another hospital. <laughs> tomorrow morning, so I don't have a rest. I don't have a rest at all. But still, I want to show you all that I am joining tomorrow to another hospital. Then, if uh, I love you all, this is for my colleagues. Okay, I love you all. If uh, I didn't came to you and to say bye. Just thought that you are so attached to my heart. You people are next to my heart. That's why I'm not. Uh, I was not able to come to you to say bye because um, it will hurt me. It's a uh, crushy feelings, you know. That's why I didn't come and say bye. Mm -hmm. But I love you all. God bless you all. And what else? <laughs> 
Ah, just I will now end up my video with my punch out and uh, I will show how I am going out. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. God bless you. I just closed the door. I am just coming out from my office. I am on the way to my home and this is my last day of this hospital. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. Kid. Signing off. Signing off. Going to sign off. I have in my hand there are two three packets. You know? That's why it's a bit heavy to move. Anyway, I'm entering the lift. <laughs> it's 4.30 p.m. because I start my duty from 8.30. This is 4.30 p.m. <clears throat> this is the shift in time here. This is the place where I am going to punch out. <laughs> Last punch out of hospital. I show you the punch in yesterday, right? Today is the last punch out of our hospital. Okay, let me punch out. I hope you can see. One zero two two seven. Punching out. Signing off. I'm not so moody or I'm not so no no I'm okay I'm fine really from the mind I'm so happy because tomorrow I have to prepare for the next hospital tomorrow there are a lot of tasks even the uniform I don't have I have to go for the buying the scrap suits so I will be busy today evening so a lot of things in the mind so I don't have to spin for uh, you know that I am leaving or anything unfortunately my husband is on duty so he is not coming to pick me up so I have to take a taxi to her home last duty on taxi I am going huh? this is the friend scene of my hospital I hope you people can see the ending part on the way out I am out already from the hospital. Last scenes. Hope you enjoy my video. This is my last day in this hospital. Tomorrow I'm just starting a new journey. Wish you a wish me a good luck. Take care. Yes, Have a nice day. God bless you all. Bye bye. Take care. See you soon. I just reached home. I thought I started the video from here. So I have to finish the video also from here. Actually on the video I said bye. But just forget to say one word you know. It's actually <clears throat> written by uh, Dr. APG Abdul Kalam. One uh, former president of India. He wrote in one of his book, you know, you have to love your job, not your institution, because your institution can stop loving you at any time. This is what happened in my case. It should not be happen in your case. It will not be happen in your case, but it happened in my life. So I'm just quoting it out. Have a great journey. Have a great day. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Take care.